Manipulation is nothing but a technique, one that an influencer will use to help serve some intent for themselves, whether it is positive or a negative one. Eminent social psychologist Robert B. Cialdini listed out six principles of influence that, when they have been mastered, allow you to influence people, including their thoughts and behavior. These include reciprocity. People almost always have an urge to return the favor that someone else has done for them. Oh, they helped me finish that project when I was behind. I need to do something for them. This is something that we have all thought about at one time or another. If you, as a manipulator, want to get someone to do something for you in the future, then find a way to make them obliged to you. You can even watch your wording saying something like, Oh, you do the same for me. Or you'd help me too, wouldn't you? That implies that you are expecting them to help you out in the future. Another technique is known as social proof. Whether it is a good or a bad thing, people are often hardwired to follow the herd and do what other people do. We often assume that because everyone around us is doing something, then this means that it is good or right. This is how fashions, trends, and fads start to take off. Presenting social proof allows you a way to influence people because it leads them to believe that they aren't the only ones that will complete the task. For example, if you are setting up a party and you want someone to come, isn't it common to list off all the people who will also be there? Scarcity is another technique that can be used to influence people and work on their psychology. It is a tendency in humans to value things that we think are limited or rarely available. Think about how business owners and other marketers can put some influence on their consumers with the idea of exclusive offers, limited sales, and until stocks last wording. When these come up, there is a tendency for the individual to reach out for what they see as being scarce because they think that it is more valuable. The amount that someone likes the manipulator can come into play. Think about this one. Would you purchase something from an attractive and pleasant looking salesperson? or the dull and not good-looking salesperson. We are influenced, at least in part, by affable, physically attractive, and charismatic people. You can also utilize this just by spending more time around a person and getting them to like you this way. Let's say that you want to get your crush to go out on a date with you. You may find that spending lots of time hanging out with them, even just as friends, can make it harder for them to refuse when you ask them out. Commitment and consistency are next on the list. When you want to get others to commit to something, it is easier to influence them to fulfill it. For example, if you get someone to come out and make a public declaration about a topic, or you get them to write it down and commit to it, then there is a higher chance that they are going to follow along with that because they worry they will be held accountable for it at a later time. When you are looking to get someone to do what you want, try to get them to say it out loud to other people or get them to write it down. This way, it is harder for them to backtrack, or they will be seen as someone who isn't able to fulfill what they had committed to in the first place. And finally, the last technique that can be used by a manipulator is authority. Why do you think that a lot of commercials, especially those for hygiene and health products, are going to have lots of experts who will talk about how their customer can benefit from the product? Many social media influencers can be paid a lot of money as well to promote an idea, service, or product on their channel or page. This is done because people are going to listen to someone they see as an authority figure. Anyone who has a position of authority, expertise, or power is going to be given a higher domain in regards to others. If you want to be able to influence others or get them to do what you would like, you should introduce someone who is perceived as an authority figure and then have them say what you want to have happened. Even better, establish yourself as a type of authority so you can cut out the middleman. Whether you choose to use these techniques in a positive way to bring about some constructive change or in a negative way to get what you want, regardless of how it affects others, the choice is up to you. Remember that when you learn how to use manipulation properly, you are holding up a matchstick that can either light up a flame or it can cause a big fire. The way that it behaves is going to be up to you 